Nathan's great. We're mates. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of humans as a general species, but he's great. We do loads of just lad things together, you know. I mean, just having a bit of a man cuddle on the sofa. Maybe a cheeky wee finger nibble here and there. No. No, don't get up. I think I'll stretch now. Oh, that was lovely. Lovely stretch. God, where's he going? Nathan? Nathan! It's all changed since she's been here. Fucking Meryl! I don't know what he sees in her. She smells like dog hair and puke most of the time. I don't really mind the puke. It's more the dog hair. Oh, by the way, I'm Pan. Pan's the name, being a cat's my game. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh, he's getting out the salmon. Better wait by the bowl expectantly so he definitely knows it's for me. Wait. <laughs> Is he? Nathan. Nathan. Nathan! What are you doing? No, that's my salmon. That's my bloody salmon, you whore! I am going to sit on him. Ah, oh, that'll show him. I mean, I'd scratch, but he does that nose thing. It really freaks me out. What's that, Pan? Do you want some salmon too? Okay, you can have some. We're too soft on him. You can't just give him what he wants whenever he wants it. Oh, come on, it's just a picture. It's nothing, it's fine. Yeah, take that, bitch. Oh, God, that's good. Better stare at her while I'm eating it. Mark my territory. Yeah, not so comfortable now, are you? Eating my salmon on your bit of toast like you own the place. You're sure you don't mind looking after the place while I'm in Manchester? It won't be long, I swear. Don't worry so much. I'll take care of the plants, I'll feed the cat. And you never know, he might start to actually like me. Hey, Pan. The fuck does she want? No, Meryl, you've got to let him come to you. Oh, it'll be okay, won't it? No. I don't think he likes me that much. Anyway, should we go get ready? We've got to go soon. Yep, yeah, here you ready. It's so cute when he says things. Oh, oh, that little jangle. It's the bowl. He always gets the right ratio of egg to cat food as well. None of that meow meow shit either. He gets the good stuff. But he doesn't feed her the good stuff. I'm going to go give him a nice, grateful leg graze. Nathan loves a good leg graze. Oh, look out. God, he's so adorably clumsy as well. That's okay, mate. You can stay down here with me. His face fuzz is so nice. Come on, we're going to be late. You haven't got time to cuddle that bloody cat. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Hello, you. You better be nice to Meryl while I'm gone, eh? She might end up living here full time. I wish I cared enough to listen to what he says, but sometimes I just get lost in his eyes. Where is he? I mean, he came back yesterday, but what about now? Maybe if I yell loud enough, he'll pick it up with some special human powers.
Nathan! Nathan! Oh, there he is. He heard me call like the lad he is. I am going to nuzzle the fuck out of you, my friend. I know. I picked up the luxury cat food, like you said. Jesus, will you stop going on about your bloody cat? I'm putting up enough with my allergies and everything, Nathan, without having to pander the needs of your crazy fucking cat. Oh. What is this? No. No, I simply refuse to let that happen. It's one egg, two cans of wet cat food, not the other way around. What's wrong with you? Aren't you females supposed to be sensitive to this kind of nonsense? Is she... Is she lighting up one of those fire choky things? Don't look at me like that. You really are a horrible cat. Grown man like a fucking cat. Go eat your food as exactly as Nathan said it should be. She's just walking out. She is actively neglecting me. I swear to God it's gone on too long now. I'm going to become one of those abandoned cats. Oh, God. Am I? Nathan has to be coming back. We're mates. He worships me. He can't be leaving me with her. He's back. He's finally, finally back. Oh, Nathan, the trauma, the outrage. You put it right. Nathan puts everything right. Who's that? Oh, God, is that Neil from next door? The one with the dogs? Oh, I hate him. He always smells like human genitalia. They're getting all of their gross skin on my couch. Where else am I supposed to sit? It's okay, Pan. Deep breath. She'll be gone soon when Nathan comes home. Good old Nate. He knows where we're at with the sofa. Are they? Oh, Jesus. Ew. God, that's disgusting. How dare she? I thought humans had that weird oath thing when they started to touch each other a lot. She used to touch Nathan a lot. What? Oh, God, I'm, I am going to stare at you so hard, my friend. Um, Bo, um, your cat's staring at us. Oh, it's not mine. Just ignore him. He'll go away. Because I'm going to leave, I will be an imposition, a massive imposition. Um, you're still staring at us. Just ignore him. Um, I'm not sure I can. No, no, I really can't. For fuck's sake. Here, Panny. He's a good kitty, eh? Well, I'm... I'm presumably the good kitty. Would you like some salmon, Panny? Hmm? Some lovely salmon? Okay. The salmon must be... Wait. Where, where the... Oh, no, no! The outside! I'm on the outside! I'm a house cat! She knows I'm a house cat! I'm not some simple outdoor cat! I don't mingle with those! No! 237. 
Oh, God, this is terrible. The trees have trembled at least four and a half times. I am approaching hopeless. I have meowed at the door for so long that that harlot Meryl seems to be actively ignoring my efforts for attention. In four hours or so, I'm sure animal control will get involved. Although it pains me to see the lover of Nathan behind bars, I must admit will give me some relief to see such a woman at the mercy of the law. 450. The sun has begun its slow ascent above the hedges. But I am sure the squirrel who I watch from the window is now watching me. The watchful hunter has now become the hunted watched. I am cold and yearn for the warmth of the pillow that lurks in the depths of Nathan's lair. Meryl will pay, and I, Panthen Scholar, shall see to it. 567. I have slept, although my sleep has been restless. Dreams of old owner Nathan haunt me. I believe I am starting to forget the fine lines of his face, the way his chin hair nuzzled lightly upon my head as we engaged in cross-species cuddles. Oh, hello there, handsome kitty. Did I leave you here all night long? I'm sure you're a brave little fellow, hmm? Why didn't you come inside? It must be a trick. But I've gone so long without human attention that perhaps a hand grace is not completely inappropriate. Ah. Oh, oh, I'm back inside. This is lovely and warm. What's that smell? Now, Pam, I went out early this morning and got you some salmon, just as you asked for. Hmm? So hungry. I am not a natural hunter. During the night I reduced to chewing on a curiously delicious patch of that green substance. But <laughs> it isn't salmon. Now, why don't you come on the couch, pal? I've got some lovely salmon for you. Oh. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Now, Pam, I think you and I are going to get on just fine. Just as long as you're a good kitty. Because I don't think you very much liked it outside, now did you? So here's the deal. You be a good kitty. Put on a show for Nathan. Cuddle up for me. Now, there's a good kitty. I'm not even listening to her, you know. She is a rather squishy sort of human, and I am rather sleepy. She does seem to like giving me food. What was I mad about, anyway? Huh. Good old Meryl. Meryl with the fishy fingers. I could just... Is that? It is! It's Nathan! Nathan's come back! Oh, I can't wait to nuzzle! My brother, my friend, my, for lack of a better word, my mate! Oh, he smells so good. Oh, look at you. You sleep on Meryl's lap, eh? Mm. You two getting along then, I see? Mm, yeah, he's been amazing. Been asleep on my lap and everything. I think the two of us will be great friends, eh, Pam? Mm. Mm. Missed you. You know, Come see. I think 
it'll be okay. I mean, one day Meryl will die. <laughs> and presumably we'll feast on her rotting corpse, and me and Nathan will live out the rest of our days in peace. But for now, I can manage her. She can stay. deal we do. Hey you. Mm-hmm. I've been missing you too. You know, we can't see each other again till Nathan's out of town. No, I don't know when that'll be. Hopefully this weekend, but still. <laughs> and I think about what we've done on this couch. Don't say naughty to me, not at all. Meryl. Meryl. Meryl! Ow! Ow! Oh, I actually do smell something. It's a bit like fish. But not really. Hmm. Where is that? Where is that? Is it coming from... Is it in the couch? Maybe she dropped something in there for me to find. Let's see. That could be salmon. Maybe. Oh, ew! Oh, no, that's not salmon. Oh, I mean, desperate times. I don't want to, like, die. Maybe I could just chew it a little bit. Just sit with each other or... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he's going to bed now. Pan, what? Have you got that? Pan? <laughs> Meryl, look. Pan's got hers. What are they doing? Wait. Meryl? Who's these? Meow. Um, Meryl. Meow. Um. Meow. Nathan. Uh, Nathan. Nathan, for fuck's sake, mate. I mean, I know you're caught up on whatever um, it is you are, but I've been meowing for a good two and a half I minutes. Know, I, um, kid, it hurts. Uh, you're adorable, but I swear to God, Nathan. Thank you.